ideas don't come from within government. My main objection to this thing is uh, uh, number 6H. The council shall act as the apex network of all the think tanks in the country to tap collective wisdom. So this would open the door to conformity, uniformity and control. Already in a country like Pakistan, the area, the space for freedom, for free debate, for think tanks to really think independently is limited. Actually, we have more tanks than think, actually. So, the uh, <laughs> actual thinking, I think, we a control mechanism. And secondly, uh, in the number 6, G, to collaborate with national and international research institutions, organizations. <laughs> أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة Sayyid, please. Uh, thank you, sir. The other point I was wanting to mention is that point six functions and powers of the council. On G, it says to collaborate with national and international research institutions, organizations, and experts to gain insights and best practices. This is already being done by various organizations in Pakistan. And I think, sir, that within the government of Pakistan, if you want to talk of watchdogs, the biggest watchdog is either the opposition or the parliamentary committees, uh, not a new organization. And I think that uh, this organization will be unnecessarily overlap. And uh, when we talk of think tanks, when there are genuine think tanks, there could be a, a control mechanism uh, which would be stifling uh, independent expression and information. So that honorable Otherwise, the futuristic view is very honorable important. Senator Zishan. Thank Ji, you. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Chairman